What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be going over some stick handling drills that you can do from home. So when it comes to these drills, I wanted to do it so that it can just be stuff that you have at your house. You don't need anything extra. You don't even need a hockey puck. You can just grab a golf ball, a baseball. If you have a hockey ball, that will work. I am going to use a hockey puck and my tiles because I'm moving soon and the house is a mess. I don't really have room to do these drills but hopefully you do, especially while you're stuck in quarantine right now. So let's get into them. So the first one I'm gonna tell you guys is something that I do every single time I skate. So I start off with the puck and practice stick handling from left to right. Now I take the puck to my right side and go forehand and backhand up and back. Then I take the puck on my backhand and go forward and back. The point of doing this is to give your body as much control and motion as you can. So it is so much easier to block the puck with your body when you're able to move the puck all the way around your body and stick handle with control. And the key to doing this drill correctly is that you're facing straight. Even while you're on your backhand, you cannot turn your feet. So keep your face, your feet, your face. I can't even talk. I can't even repeat what I messed up on. Ugh. So keep your feet facing forward, doing every single one of these drills. Continuing on to the next one, I would grab a chair in your house, just not a nice one because you don't want to mess it up but practice stick handling through it. This will really help with your loose sticks. Just go back and forth, that's all you have to do, and just work on that control, because this is what you want to do, is get that control as good as possible. Next, this one is just more fun, but it is a huge help with your eye-hand coordination, is you just get some type of ball, and you just start bouncing it on your stick. That is it. You can do it with a soccer ball, baseball, hockey puck, hockey ball, just literally anything, even a bouncy ball. And if you practice this, you'll get way better at knocking the pucks out of the air. Continuing on is the figure eight drill. And when I say figure eight, I don't mean skating as a figure eight, but stick handling through a figure eight. So you can grab two hockey pucks, you can grab two gloves, just anything around the house, set them there, and just practice stick handling through them. Make sure you go around one way and then also go back around the other way. And if you get good at that, you can set up like three pucks, four pucks, 12 pucks, 70, 80, 1000, just as many as you want to and just practice stick handling through them. So this one sounds weird, but it really did help me, especially early on, but get a basketball or soccer ball and just practice stick handling back and forth. You can even do the in front of you back and forth, side back and forth, backhand back and forth with this. The point of using a soccer ball or basketball is that it's bigger, so this will help with your loose puck deeks and getting your stick up and over around. It's just to get that control down and that muscle memory of moving your stick up and over, because you're gonna use it in hockey. So the last drill we're gonna go over is not really a drill, but it's just fun, all right? Get your dog, get a ball, and to start stick handling around, hopefully your dog is fun and will chase the ball and you'll have a blast. It'll help with your stick handling, your dog will have fun, it's just a win-win. So those are some stick handling drills you can do at home. I know this video is shorter than normal, but it didn't need to be longer. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you guys later.